One, it's exactly 9.45 a.m. in the morning, and we are now scheduled in our uh, weekly training. No? This, is, uh, this is actually uh, a very exciting day for us. Last week, we were actually talking about um, house and lot, and today we are going to talk about uh, condominiums. No? And I would like to welcome everyone that are new in the business. I know it's really quite hard and easy at first, after right, probably right after you attended the business review. And probably most of us actually are yet a little bit confused. Medyo um, magulo pa yung isip at medyo punung puno pa. But uh, the, way, the way we do the business here is that you just have to expose yourself. No, you just have to expose yourself. You've got to attend those seminars and trainings until eventually everything will just slowly and little by little shape up in your in your mind. And until the time that it will it will slowly shape up, you will eventually be able to catch up on the things of uh, on the things of what we are doing here uh, today. No, so um, don't worry. Don't worry if you are new in the business. Everybody will always have to start new. I was once new. The rest of the people right now that are producing actually are once new. Uh, so, hindi, hindi naman kasi pwedeng luma agad eh. There has to be a stages where all of us are new. And ako, I always personally believe that earning should always come after learning. So, kumbaga, learn first before you earn. And that's, that's exactly how the school system works. No, that, That's exactly the principle of, of the school. That we study, we go to school, and it took us time to learn, then eventually get a job. That's the time that we earn. So that's exactly the same with us here in the business. We need to learn before we are going to, to earn. Okay? So um, I would just like to make some announcement. Tomorrow at 9.45 a.m. again, so we will be having our business review now the business review is actually an opportunity for all of us now this is for everybody this is for you and me an opportunity for you and me to bring our prospect agents now as what we have said as what i have shared to you that the way to go into this business for the long term is for you to build your own team now yes we do sell yes we do promote and and, and sell uh, pro properties or projects online. But again, at the same time, part of the business is actually to build our team, to build your team. So individually, you are going to slowly build your team. Every single person that you invite into the business will now form part of your team. Okay, so tomorrow at 9.45 a.m., exactly, we are going to have a business review so you can bring or invite all of your friends that you wanted to invite into the business. So you just ask them to download Zoom. No, you just ask them to download Zoom. It is actually in Play Store or App Store. They can download it there. Once they are able to download it, they can actually make an account. It's better to make an account because primarily this would be your most important application that you're going to use here in our business and if there are cases na hindi siya makapag-download ng application ng Zoom i-advise niyo lang i-advise niyo lang siya na tanggalin lang yung Mobile Legends pag natanggal niya yung Mobile Legends papasok na po ang Zoom diyan okay so the, he needs to download the Zoom tapos you need to give the meeting ID okay our meeting ID is permanent no 5752627764 you've got to memorize that and the password is DPPI, and that is also permanent. So we're not changing that. Okay. So you advise, you advise the person, and the last advice is that you ask him to come early because we start early. And if he cannot start from the very beginning, he is not going to appreciate our discussion. So it is better that they should come early. Remember, in DPPI, Filipino time is on time. Okay. So that's our culture. Bawal ang late sa DPPI. Okay? So actually, I invited someone before I'm going to go into my topic, condo specialist. I'm going to put this down. I, I invited someone, a very good friend of mine, that could really help us in the business. Now, she was able to help a lot of us here already in the business. In fact, a lot of our 
sellers, our, a lot of our agents already, was, was helped by her, actually. So I invited her because she's going to be introducing the one that I've shared to you, that we do have a lot of tools here. It's just that you've got to avail of those tools in order for you to advance your business. I mean, in any form of business, you've got to have a tools or else, hindi po, hindi po kakayanan yan. Paano, paano ka ba mag-build ng bahay? Makapag-build ka ba ng bahay pag wala kang tools? Di ba? Kailangan mo talagang magkaroon ng tools. In any form po, if you want to build something, you really need some tools. Okay. Now, I invited her. She's going to explain to us what are the concepts of being in the online because this is the new normal already. And... She's been with us for almost a year now and I'm so happy that she's still with us here. Hindi pa to bumibitiw, no? Siguro malapit na tong bumibitiw uh, kasi sa ano, sa pressure. Anyway, um, I would like to welcome Miss Isa. Miss Isa, if you are there, you just have to introduce yourself na lang, Miss. You're going to be joined by a lot of newbies here in the business. Hello sir, good morning. Yes. Is my line clear? Yes, my line, your line is clear. Okay, so good morning everyone. My name is Isa Bakurinay and I am from Property24 and Carousel. So um, we will be helping you um, generate leads. Kanang yung mga tao na gustong mga, may mga kliyente, bibigyan namin kayo ng mga interested buyers. So... Konting push na lang para maklose ni yung deal. And of course, it also depends on your activity online. So everybody must be active online. Not necessarily na you have to be, be very active like every hour. But the normal activity of an online marketer should be, um, it's like updating your accounts every now and then uploading quality pictures every now and then so we will be helping you generate leads in property 24 and carousel sir okay sorry yeah miss <laughs> uh, yeah, you can share now sorry so i'm going to share my screen now Okay, so prior to to presenting or wait, prior to presenting property twenty four and carousel, we have to position ourselves first. Now, the first topic that I'm going to discuss is key points in online marketing. So these are the topics that we'll be discussing from one to six. Now, you can also add me on Facebook. My Facebook is Azi Inahor. It's on your screen. My mobile number and my email. You can contact me through those details on your screen. So, especially for newbies, when you do online marketing, it's not just, ay, mago online ako. Ay, magpo-post ako ng online listings because everybody is doing it. So, I'm going to post by listings on my social media account because everybody is doing it. I'm going to post listings on different portals because everybody is doing it. Yes, it's true, but you have to understand and you have to know what are the things that you need to do prior to posting listings online. You have to position yourself. You have to prepare everything. You have to make sure that your listings will be viewed from all over the world, okay? So the key points in online marketing, first is your story. Now, what is your story? What do you want your clients to know more about you? What do you want your clients to see on your story. So I believe everybody has a social media account. Parang wala nang tao na walang social media, social media account now. So what kind of story do I want my client? Um, 
I'll just like give an example if only that I am a singer, okay? For example, a singer. So what kind of story or how do I let my clients or customers know that I am a singer? So what kind of story do I want my clients to know about me? So I'll be posting my videos that I'm singing. I'll be posting pictures that I'm on stage. I'll be posting my records. I'll be posting compositions. So that kind of story or that kind of profile will let my clients, or no, my customers rather, knows that I am a singer. So for a real estate salesperson, what kind of story do you want your clients to know about you that you are in a real estate profession now selling real estate is not just focusing on real estate properties it's not just focusing on the products of the real estate industry you can share stories about landscaping you can share stories about interior design you can share stories about the success stories of your buyers. So those kind of stories will let your buyers know that you are in the real estate industry. Now, if, you're, if you are doing real estate selling, of course, when you talk to clients, of course, you're going to research their name. So, for example, I am a buyer. And then... Um, Pag nakausap na kita kasi binibentahan mo ko ng property, pag nakausap na kita, isearch mo yung name ko. Kunyari, sinearch ko na si Iza Bakornay. That's my name. Tapos pag makita mo yung profile ko, parang parang hindi siya, hindi ako makaka-afford ng property. Just for example. Pero totoo naman. Parang yung profile ko, parang not capable of buying properties. So what do you think, would you think, pag nakita niyo yung profile ko and yung profile and the stories that I've been posting are stories na parang feeling nyo na hindi ako makakapag-afford ng pag-purchase ng property. So those stories are relevant to your business now. Now, vice versa. Pag ikaw naman ang kinausap ng buyer, may nakausap ka na buyer, rather, tapos, sinerch yung name mo ni buyer. So, kunyari, seller din ako. So, when the buyer or when my buyer searched my name in my social media accounts, back isa bakorne, then nakikita niya yung, mga, yung story ko na, kunyari, um, may inaaway ako sa timeline ko. Oh. Kunyari, may hinuhugot ako sa timeline ko. Do you think those simple posts will affect you and your profession as a real estate salesperson? So those stories must be relevant to your situation right now. So if you have attended seminars and webinars like this, post it in your wall. If you have attended PKSS, hello, Miss, we're we're losing you. Hello, Miss. Hello. Miss Isa? Ang mga buyers ha. Hello, Miss. We're, lo we're losing you, Miss. We're losing your connection. So what kind of story do you want your clients to know about you? Now, Ay, wait. We're losing your connection. Ah, okay. How about that, sir? Okay na? Yeah, for now. Uh, I'll, I'll, just, okay. I'll just advise you. Sige, sige. So, your story is very important to your buyers. Be careful with what you post, what you share, and what you even like online. Be careful with those things because your buyers can see that. Share stories relevant to your profession right now. Okay? Now, the second key point in online marketing are your visuals. 
94% of your buyers nowadays are visual learners. Hindi na sila tumitingin sa mga words. So most of your buyers are actually looking and are actually more focused on your visual. Now, import, for example, if everybody is posting the same property now, real time. So if everybody is posting the same property now, hindi na pangalan, hindi ang pangalan nyo ang tinitingnan ng buyer. But hence, the pictures or the visuals that you posted are those that your buyers are looking at. Hindi yung pangalan nyo. No, a good listing is a unique listing. That is what I've always told all my clients posting in Property24 to upload unique listings. So how can your listing be unique? Okay. So number one, your visuals or your pictures or the photos that you post on your or any platform must be quality. Yung concept na picture, gusto nang bilhin kaya. Picture pa lang, gusto ninyang kunin yung property. Picture pa lang, ma, ma enticing pictures kasi quality. It must not be blurry, it must have more vivid colors, and it must not be pixelated. Now, there are many apps. Madaming apps sa internet na pwede nyo i-download para, para to enhance your photos. You can download it. You have to be very resourceful in uploading quality pictures. Download apps na pwede yung magamit for, um, for editing your pictures. Basta kailangan quality. Okay? The second picture or the second visual that you have to upload is a creative photo. Now, especially nowadays that we have limited movements, especially nowadays that your clients won't be able to view the site, it is important that we let them know the smallest or tiniest detail that your buyer needs to know. Like, for example, on these photos, each of the photos on your screen have a label or have a caption. Now, kunyari, si buyer, hindi siya makakapag-site tour. Now, on this upper right, double windows, overlook, backyard, and greenery. So, meaning, yung window niya dito is ang backyard view. It's also important that your buyer knows the entire community or the entire neighborhood. So, at least, your buyer will know na yung window here has the backyard view. Another example. For this lower left, open floor plan integrates living, cooking, and dining area. So meaning, the whole entire area of this floor plan includes the living room, the cooking room, and the dining area. So your client will know na ito pala yung laman ng floor plan nung sa lower part ng house. So be creative on your photos. There are so many ways of being of how to be creative on your photos. What I always say to my clients is also if they upload pictures, let them be inside the picture. Now not all your buyers or not all your clients knows how big or how small is a 30 square meter property. Now, if you are inside the picture, kunyari sa, dito sa bedroom, if you're here inside standing in front of the door, then your client will know or can anticipate and estimate the size of the area kasi may tao. So, dun niya ma-estimate kung gano'ng kalaki yung area. Madaming ways na maging creative tayo sa mga posts natin. You just have to be resourceful. Put passion in everything that you do. Kasi if you're passionate with what you're doing, then your business will grow. If you're passionate with your business, then your business will grow. So first, you have to, you have to upload quality pictures. Second one, you have to be creative on your photos. 
Now, the third visuals that you need to upload, it must be consistent. You must be consistent on your photos. Now, madaming client, madaming, madami akong clients or agents na nagsasabi na, Ma'am, bakit wala akong lead? So, what I always answer is, iti-check ko yung account nyo. Kasi, CP24 and Carousel, they parish nilang restaurant. Okay? If you open a restaurant, then you only have dalawang putahe. How would you expect buyers to come in? How would you expect customers to come in? So, pareho lang din siya ni P24 and Carousel. Kami yung restaurant. Yung putahe is sa inyo. Now, pag nung chineke yung account ni client, she only uploaded one photo. Tapos blurred pa. So, do you think, okay, do you think that buyers would be interested to click on your listings if you uploaded a blurred picture? Do you think your client would be interested in looking at your listing if you uploaded inconsistent photos, meaning dalawang photos lang or isa lang? So I could, the only thing that I could say is please upload more pictures. What I advise to my clients is to upload like a minimum of 15 photos that would be enough upload 15 photos be creative on your photos madaming pwedeng i-post na isabay dun sa listings niyo another one consistent dapat tayo if you have uploaded a very perfect picturistic perfect picture sobrang madami na yung adjective ha Perfect picture, quality on your first post, first photo. Because dapat lahat ng photos mo, ganun din. Kung, kung maganda yung masyado yung first photo mo, dapat yung the rest 14 photos maganda din. Be consistent on your pictures. Not na, kasi copy-paste na lang tayo ngayon. Kasi it's what everybody is posting. So, ito, i-copy ko na lang din yung picture niya. Kasi everybody is posting it. Make sure, if you copy the picture, make sure that the quality of the picture will not be broken. FYI, um, if nagka-copy-paste kayo, if your pictures will be transferred from another person to another person to another person, the pictures will be broken. The pictures will be pixelated. Magiging pixelated na siya. Okay? So, quality photos, you have to upload it. You have to be creative on your posting of the pictures. Be inside the picture and upload consistent photos. And I'm going to make sure that your listings will be very famous. Makikita at makikita at ikiklik yan ng mga buyers. Yeah. I guarantee that. Upload unique listings. So, yung unique listings, it means yung pictures nyo hindi pare-pare-pareho. Okay? I believe that your developers are sending you pictures. Ma'am, paano yan? Um, isa, lang naman ang, isa lang naman ang model unit ng developer. Now, my question is, if the developer turned over or if the developer is turning over the property to the buyers, are they turning over the model unit? The model unit is designed so that your buyers will know how to decorate or how to finish their unit. Pero the deliverables will be a bare finished unit. So be creative on your photos. Upload unique listings. If you have to use a different interior, then do it so. Because it is very important that your listing is different from what others are posting para makita yung listings mo. Now, the only job of every salesperson is letting your clients choose you between your competition. Now, inside this conference room, inside this Zoom meeting, everyone is your competition. Your job is only let your buyers choose you 
among all of them. So upload unique listings. Next one, our content. So the content is the description of the property. Now we have to make sure and we have to remember that the content of your property also matters. Your content must be engaging. It must be creative and you have to understand the right business model. Now, ibalik ko na din yung topic natin na regarding sa copy-paste. Of course, madali lang mag-copy and paste. I-copy ko lang yung post ng kasama ko, tapos i-paste ko sa wall. Tapos, i-upload ko din yung kinapi kong picture. Remember, your buyers are not looking at your names. They're looking at your pictures. Okay? So, for the content, it must be engaging. So everybody is doing this. You want to have a site tour? PM me. That's everyone is doing. So how can your content be engaging? Na pare-pareho lang naman yung ginagawa at pinopost nung iba. So engaging ko na. Kunyari, si, si developer nagbibigay siya ng 50% off sa first three months na monthly amortization. Tapos, kunyari, yung, yung monthly amortization natin is 50,000 per month. Kunyari lang. So, 50% off. So, that's 25,000 per month na lang instead of 50,000 per month. So, itotal natin ang 25 times 3, that's 75,000. Engaging content. Do you want to know how to avail 75,000 discount? Oh, see, that's different from what the others are posting. I'm giving you 75,000 discount if you reserve. So engaging siya. Paano kaya ako makakuha ng 75,000 discount? So do things that others are not doing. Post things that others are not doing. So you, you have to be creative. Be creative. You know, research, research din pag my time. And understand the right business code. Understand what you are going to post. Understand what you are going to sell. Understand the whole property. So, your content must be straight to the point. Simple and straight to the point. Hindi na masyadong mahaba. Yung kailangan lang malaman ni buyer. Yung property, where is it located? Of course, the amenities and the building features. And if you want to post the computation, the, it's fine. It depends on you. Basta, on your content or on your description, make sure that it's engaging. Make sure you give your clients opportunity to contact you. Make sure it will be an it will be an open door for your buyers to communicate to you. And also, if ever that you post an engaging content, end it with a question mark. So that your clients, pag may question mark, it will be parang ma-entice yung client yun na, to communicate back to you. Okay? So, the second key point in online marketing is your visual. It has to be quality, creative, and consistent. And of course, along with it is your content. Now, the next key point in online marketing are your business objective. Now, I believe, hindi lang sa real estate, Lahat parang may best objective. So for the real estate industry, gusto natin mag-increase ng sales natin. That's number one. Gusto natin i-increase ang foot traffic natin. That's number two. We want to increase the lead generation and also we want to increase the brand awareness. And that brand is no other than you. That you would be recognized as the top seller in your realty. That you will be recognized and, and you will go upstage at the end of the year kasi may award ka, kasi top seller ka nga ng property. Pero, 
I want to increase my sales. Pero, yung pictures na pinupost ko is isa lang. Okay? I want to increase foot traffic, pero blurred yung pictures na pinupost ko. I want to increase lead generation, pero I am unavailable. Madami kaya akong clients na pag tinawagan ko to, to make kumusta, they don't answer calls. So, I want to increase brand awareness, pero the the story that I've been sharing is is not related to the profession right now. So, we all have a business objective. Yung target natin dapat makabenta ako. Yung target natin is I want to close sales like 5 or 10 in a month. So, dapat it all boils back and turns to number one, your story. If you want to increase your lead generation, then share stories about real estate. If you want to increase your sales, then share stories about your track record. You know, post if you have sold this property, post it in your wall. If you are, if you have attended webinars like this, post it in your wall so that your clients will know, like what I always say, that you are in the real estate. You know, start it now. Don't start it tomorrow. Start it now, this instant. Because I want to increase everything. Of course, my sales, my foot traffic, lead generation, brand awareness. Yung kalaban lang natin in sales is sarili natin. Though you, you have your managers pushing you, but the only person na pwedeng lumaban sa atin is yung sarili din natin. So let us start now. Place it this in your house, your wall, sa house nyo, because this is my business objective. I want to increase my sales. I want to receive, you know, I've been doing this. This is my business objective as well. But because of this business objective, I have received a lot of awards from Property 20 Friend Carousel. So I work hard. I really work hard to acquire new agents. I work hard to, to increase my food traffic. I work hard to increase my sales. So I reap my own, you know, yung sino ko, narip ko na. So, place this in your wall. Do this, like, imoto natin to, na-increase lahat yung objectives natin para we can achieve our goal. Okay? Next one. Another key point in online marketing is your target audience. Na yung pinaka, when you start doing the real estate industry, the first thing that comes into your mind is sino ang pwede kong bentahan? Sino yung mga pwede kong bentahan ng mga clients? So what we do now is we research your client because can you claim that everyone is your target audience? Kunyari ba na lahat ng nakausap mo target audience mo na? For example, gusto kong bentahan yung mga doktor. So, Yung, kung doctors lang ang gusto kong kliyente, so easy research ko sila, how much kaya yung income bracket ng mga doctors? San kaya gusto, gustong tumira ng mga doctors? So, I research my clients. So, research your clients according to their demographic profile. Kunyari mga millennials, married people, single dads, Generation X, veterans, mga Generation Z. How much kaya ang pwede nilang bilhin? Or what kind of properties does millennials want? Gusto ba ng mga millennials mga single detached na mga bahay? Gusto ba ng mga millennials na mga condominiums? So when I research about my client, I will know what property should I sell to them. Or I will know what or how much property would I offer to my clients? There are different kinds of people. You research your clients according to their job description. Madaming trabaho, doctors, engineers, lawyers, uh, mga teachers, public servants, 
madaming klaseng trabaho. Research your clients according to their job. Then, pag malaman mo yung income bracket nila, then that's the time you can offer them. Kasi, kunyari, nasa gyera tayo, tapos nagdala tayo ng mga baril, tapos yung dinala nating baril is pang dagat pala. So, hindi siya pwede. No, that's just an example. So, hindi siya pwede. So, if we research about our client, kung alam natin yung anong klaseng client ang kinakausap natin, then we will know what kind or how much property can I offer them. Now, madami din klaseng tao. We research your clients according to their level of interest. Mga pet lovers, uh, mga bloggers, vloggers, mga entertainers, mga travelers. So, madaming klaseng tao. If you just target your audience, if you know who to contact, if you know who to talk to, then you will know what kind of properties that you can offer them. Okay? Now, the next part in, or the next key point in online marketing uh, for a while. Okay, so the next key point in online marketing is your unique selling point. Now, I believe itong unique selling point, this is very common to every salesperson, hindi lang sa real estate. Then. So, unique selling point. What makes you different from the other sellers? Remember what I told you before, that your only job is to let your clients choose you among the competition. What makes you different from the other sellers? What kind of seller am I? Pareho ba kami ni Agent 1? Pareho din ba kami ni Agent 2? So what makes me different from the other sellers? Now, you have to be innovative. Like for example, ano kasi, yung mindset kasi ng isang tao, madaming questions yan. What if, ah, I will not post in, I will not try to invest in Property24 because additional expense lang yan. You know, that is your ego that is talking. Pero what if we change the question? What if you will succeed? What if madami kang clients? What if you can close sales out of it? That's your intuition. You know, a successful mindset will not entertain. Your ego will always contradict. Your pride will always contradict the things that comes in. But your intuition, for me, dapat sila yung mga excel. Dapat you have to think, what if I will be successful? Because business is business. You know, you have to take risks. You have to be innovative. And you have to open your arms in every change that will come. Consider everything that comes in as an opportunity, not as a liability. Be innovative. Do not focus on the product itself. Remember, selling real estate is not based or is not mainly about the property itself. Selling real estate is not mainly about posting properties that are for sale. You have to take note and you have to consider your service to your buyers, your sales track record, you as a person, and your after sales. These are the things that you need to focus on. Your sales, your service, you, of course, and your after sales. Now, find your unique selling point. If may kakilala ka siya yung top seller ng company, find his or her unique selling point. I-check niya yung unique selling point sa, kan sa iba. I know, dun sa pertaining to the top seller. Check niya yung unique selling point. And then do not copy it. But hence, um, over, i over mo, i OA mo ng gan. For example, if the top seller works around 5 to 8 p.m., 5 a.m. to 8 p.m., so that is the top seller. Now, I don't want to copy the 5 to 8 p.m., I am going to work from 5 to 9 p.m. 
So find the unique selling. Do not copy it, but overpower it. Sobrahan mo yung ginagawa niya. Okay? So make yourself different from what the others are doing. Change your mindset. Use your intuition. Do not focus on your ego because the job of your ego is always contradicting opportunities that come in. You will be successful. Okay? And the last key point in online marketing is building your business. So the real estate is your business and you need to invest out to gain more sales. So the real estate, para din siyang negosyo na sari-sari store. Okay, kailangan mong magbili ng puhunan para mas madami kang income. That is why P24 and Carousel is here. Now, Property24 and Carousel are the websites that can help you generate leads. Pero it has a monthly subscription package. But prior to explaining the subscription package, let me let me discuss about the importance of property 24 and carousel okay okay is my sorry, is my slide not the property 24 yes miss it's, ah, okay. it's property 24 now okay so i'll be discussing what is property 24 and carousel para sa mga business people like you so how are you going to maximize or use the platform? How are you going to, to boost your listings? Kasi yung labanan ngayon is boosting na. So it's very important that you boost your listings and you promote your listings para mas madami ang makakita sa mga listings nyo. So I hope that the previous slides that I've presented, you will, ano, you will apply it on your daily sales. You know, apply ni yung visuals niyo, apply ni yung story niyo, then start it, start right now. Don't wait for tomorrow. Kasi in in real estate or in business, yung kalaban natin is time. Okay? So, so property 24 and carousel. Now, who are we? Okay? Property 24 is based in South Africa. So we have your we have international and local. Also, Carousel is based in Southeast Asia. Now, P24 it's a real estate website. You can see everything, all real estate listings from the entire Philippines. We can be searched via web through www.property24.com.ph and also we have an application that is downloadable in iOS and Android for property 24 pH. You can just download. Now you can search everything. You can search everything. All real estate related businesses is here in property 24. What can you post in P24? So you can post house and lots, mga RFOs, mga rentals, warehouses, farms, commercial, even memorial lots can be posted in property 24, whether it's pre-selling or ready for occupancy memorial lot. So everything can be posted in property 24. Basta related lang siya sa real estate. Now on the other hand, what is who is Carousel? Now si Carousel naman, it's a general category website. You can post Anything you see in your house or outside your house. Mga cars, mga furniture, mga appliances, mga bags, makeups, jobs, services, finance, everything, property as well. What you can post in carousel are these. Motorbikes, sports, luxuries, antiques, babies. Gardening, car services, rentals, vehicle, of course, property, mga cake pop stuff, everything or everything else can be posted in property 24. Now, how far can your listings go? Oh, 
sana abot ang 20 pesos mo. Sana abot ang listings nyo. Of course, this is what we call our reach. Now, if you want local views or in the Philippines, of course, kasi based tayo in the Philippines, but if you want to tap the international views or international clients, mga OFWs and foreigners, this is where you must post your listings in B24 because your listings are not just posted in the Philippines but also in the entire world. Okay? May mga clients din ako na may mga clients from abroad. Now, before I will discuss the usage and the products of P24 and Carousel, let us discuss first your sales funnel. Now, for the newbies, this is for the newbies, um, pag pumasok ka sa real estate industry, the first thing that comes to your mind is sino yung pwede kong bentahan. So, of course, on your trainings, lahat ng K, ibebentahan nyo. Yung kaibigan, kapatid, kaaway, ka-textmate, ka-chat, lahat ng K na pwede mong sabihin what's inside your mobile, your Facebook friends, everything. These are what we call your leads. Okay? Sila lahat ang mga leads nyo. Now, when you start to check din, to check nyo automatically yung phone book nyo, ah, siya, siya. Pero si leads, all your friends or all your phone book or all your addresses on your Facebook account, i-qualify mo sila. I-check mo sila kung kaya ba, for example, sa phone, sa address book ko, kaya ba niyang magbayad ng property? So, i-check mo sila one by one. You check them and qualify them if they are capable of purchasing property. So, you list mo, crash out mo si 1, crash out mo si 5, crash out mo si 10, kasi hindi niya kayang bumili ng property. So, those are what we call qualified leads. Okay? So, for example, si account natin ha, kasi real estate is a numbers game. Hindi tayo nag, nag-account kung how many sales have we done, but how many clients have we talked. So, si leads, kunyari, may 500 friends ka. Tapos, si 500 friends mo, i-qualify mo one by one. I-check mo sila one by one. Let's say 20% of your 500 leads are your qualified leads. So, that is 100. Now, your 100 qualified leads, dun mo is start na i-text at tatawagan sila. So, you call them, you text them, you invite them. Everything. So, ang nag-reply lang sa'yo, out of your 100 qualified leads, let's say 20%. So, from your 100, 20% is 20. So, that is what we call now interested buyers. Kasi tinext mo nga sila, tinawagan mo sila. So, interested buyers. 20 interested buyers. Now, for these 20 interested buyers, I-invite mo, of course, na mag-site tour. Ma'am, tara, site tour tayo para makita niyo yung property, para malaman niyo kung gaano kalayo, para makita niyo yung whole property. So, let's say 20%, not all of your 20 interested buyers wants to view the site, di ba? So, let's say 20% of your interested buyers wants to view the site. So, may apat na tayo. Now, these four, in, um, these four clients that's want, that wants to view the site, may maklose tayo kahit isa. Okay? So, remember, sales is a numbers game. So, may maklose tayo na isa dahil may apat tayong view. Now, question. Ma'am, kunyari, hindi pa ako naka-close ng sale. So, balikan ko yung question ko. How many side views have you had? Tatlo. So, baka kulang ka pala ng isa para maka-close ka ng isang sale. So, if wala kang nakuhang site viewing or site or presentation sa client, baka may mali kang nasabi sa mga interested buyers mo. 
if you don't have interested buyers, that's the time that you find more qualified leads para may mga interested buyers ka. From your 500 leads or 500 friends, isa lang ang na-close natin. That's the fact. Kasi numbers game na tayo. So baka you need to find more interested buyers. Now, if you are going to post online, online leads, especially in the social media, hindi yan sila interested buyers. Hindi rin sila qualified leads. Kasi si Facebook, hindi, Facebook wouldn't matter na gagawa ang, ang isang person ng five accounts. Facebook wouldn't matter if sino yung kinausap mo. Hindi yan kinakwalify ni Facebook. Si Facebook nagkakapera sa number of accounts na gustong magpa-register in Facebook. Diyan nagkakapera si Facebook. Pero yung mga people that inquired you, those are not qualified leads because they, aren't, they are not the people who is looking for properties. They are not the people who mainly search for properties. So those are not qualified leads. You have to invite them to become interested buyers. So you have to find more interested buyers to have at least more viewing. You have to find more qualified leads to have at least more interested, interested buyers. So although the real estate business is very challenging, but it depends on how you manage or how many qualified leads you talk to. Okay? Now, I hope this sales funnel um, will matatak siya sa mind nyo para ang focus natin is to find more interested buyers. Now, if you're going to do online marketing, it must be data-driven. Okay? Bakit ako mag-online marketing? Bakit ako magpo-post in Property24? How many clients ang pwede kong makuha? The clients that we give you in Property24 are interested buyers. The clients that we give in P24, those are clients na na-qualify na namin. Because why, quali why, why interested buyers? Na everything you see in Property24 are real estate listings. Why would clients go to a real estate website kung hindi sila naghahanap ng property? Why would clients inquire on the property you post kung hindi nila alam na kaya pala nilang magbayad? So, we provide interested buyers. That is for site viewing na para mag-close niya sa sale. It must be data-driven when you post online. Bakit ko ginagamit ang portal? Anong makukuha ko sa pag-post ko in P24 and Carousel? Ano ang traffic ni Property24 and Carousel? How many clients visit P24 and Carousel? How many clients go to Property24 and Carousel? Those are the things that you need to consider when you do online marketing. Okay? Now, Let's talk about Property24. Now, this is Property24. Kunyari, mga buyer style. Okay? So, all properties in the entire Philippines. Now, if I'm going to click Cebu City, ito yung inner page natin. So, we have products called the featured listing, meaning your listings are placed on top. So, naka-feature kayo. So, we have this featured listing and also the standard listing, okay? So the featured listing is placed on top of the standard listing. Now, if I'm going to click this property as a standard listing, kunyari, this is what comes out. The pictures of the property, so, and the details of the property. So, of course, if I'm the buyer, parang gusto ko tong property na to, I am going to inquire. I'm going to write my name, my email, my mobile number, and my message. Like, pagka-click ko sa send message, the agent na nag-post on P24 will receive an SMS notification, text message. Okay? Ito yung example ng SMS notification. We have Mary Rodriguez is the name of the client, the mobile number of 
Mary Rodriguez and the address of the property that she inquired and the amount. So the agent who posted in property 24 will receive this SMS notification of the inquiry at the same time, email, email and SMS notification tayo. Now this is also in property. Uh, this is only in property 24 because all your listings in property 24 will also be cross posted in carousel that's why we call them the power of two now if you have posted five listings in property 24 it will be automatically be cross posted in carousel when you post in p24 automatically gagawan po namin kayo ng carousel account okay now what is carousel like what I what I discussed earlier, it's a general category of website. Ano yung products ni Carousel? Carousel, my private chat tayo. So meaning, si buyer, directly na sila mag-chat tayo. Si buyer will chat you directly. So si buyer will contact you. Aside from, we also have the lead generation, yung if mag-fill up si client, meron din tayong ganyan si Carousel. At meron din tayong private chat. The boosting that we call are spotlight bumps and keyword targeting. Okay, these are the products in Carousel. See, Property 24, we have featured listing and the standard listing. See, Carousel naman, we have spotlight bumps and keyword targeting. Now, this is an example of private chat in Carousel. So, if this is your dashboard on your Carousel mobile app, so, you click mo lang si me. Then you can see the chats, my notification. These are the example of the chats that your the clients receive from your buyer. Okay. Now, see spotlight. Spotlight is a promotion tool designed to increase the visibility of your listing. Now, for example, if you are, if you are, if you, this is your listing, the green one and the violet shirt, and then your buyer is browsing, nakapin lang yung property. Nakapin lang yung product. Okay? Now, si Bump, nam, I will, um, if you have a, an account na in Carousel, I can discuss you separately the cost of how much you, you need to spotlight. Now, the Bump naman is to help the visibility of your items. Now, kunyari, if your listings on the red one, instant refresh siya. Kunyan. Depende na kung how many times you want to bump your listing. So, meron din yan sa account mo. That is bump. Now, the keyword targeting naman is the same with Facebook hashtags. Okay? If mag-post ka ng adbo, then you want your clients to search you via keywords, meron din tayo in carousel. Now, how do we generate leads or paano namin ibebenta yung mga listings nyo? Number one, of course, through Google search. Now, if I, if I search house and lot for sale in Cebu City, so, oh my God, so lalabas yung property 24. If you have listings in P24 na in Cebu City, makikita yung listing mo. Remember, your listings will also matter with the visuals you posted, okay? Social media ads. We have an active social media ad in both Property24 and Carousel. We have Twitter, um, Instagram, and Facebook for both P24 and Carousel. Now, we also do Google ads. So, Google ads, kunyari mag-research lang ako ng randomly kahit anong topic, anything. So, lalabas CP24 for Google Ads then. So that's also a way that we market your listings. And the last one, we have the email marketing or the newsletter. Now, P24 and Carousel, intelligent search na tayo. Like, for example, if si buyer, ang pinaka last niyang ni research was about 2 million property, then Property24 will feed them 2 million properties from different agents. Now, if you have 2 million properties, your listing will also be included na isi-share namin sa different 
agents or different buyers all over the world. For the existing subscribers, those are the alerts. So kung makikita nyo sa reporting nyo in your P24 account, may makikita kayong alerts. Those are the newsletter. Now, it all comes with a price. Okay? How much is it? How much am I going to invest in posting in P24 and Carousel? Now, we have 30 listings, 50 listings, and 100 listings. Okay? So, 30 listings or 30 properties. You get to have a freebie of featured listings and coins. See coins in Carousel to. So, see si coins, you are going to use them to bump and spotlight your listings in Carousel. Now, see si featured listings, okay, ito din yung ilalagay mo sa top. Okay? Now, what I always um, offer to exclusively to the 818 property kasi pina-approve ko na na forever na tong rate na to sa D818 30 listings is only 1,300 per month for 12 months monthly for 12 months now what you can get in 30 listings you have 2 featured listings per month that is worth 2,000 pesos free and the coins that you can do for boosting is 1,500 so the freebies that you will get in 30 listings for both P24 and Carousel is 3,500 for a monthly subscription fee of only 1,300 pesos per month now the promo for our May is we are giving free trial for one month, okay? You can post in Property24 and Carousel for one month free for the month of May. Today is May 29 to June 29, 2020, okay? Now, this is my Facebook account, my number, and my email. You can add me on Facebook. Para we can continue to communicate there. Now, paano ba? Pa how am I going, how are we going to process your account? So, of course, I'm going to ask for your ID and your name, your email, and mobile number. And your account will be activated tomorrow because it's Saturday tomorrow. I hope I can activate it today, today or tomorrow. So, do you have any questions? Sir. Any question, guys? Hey, hello, sir. Good Hi, ma'am. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Yes, Isa, thank you so much for your presentation. Very articulately done and very understandable, good as in. And ma'am, ma I just want to ask if like the this promo na one and a one month uh, free. So mm -hmm. we will be registering. Uh, yes. Like, for example, today, and then we will start paying. Uh, June, ma'am. I'm sorry? June. June 29. Okay. Oh. So, that's monthly of 1,300. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, if we will add you to, if I can add you to my Facebook, ma'am, uh, then we can discuss, no? Because uh, I have oh, also yes. questions, like, on how to post, because I'm so, uh, I am not so literate of, Posting, you know. Uh, so um, yes, ma'am. So, ko ano, ma'am? For example, if you're going to subscribe, of course, isa sa binayaran, binabayaran yung isang training. So I'll, I will be the one to train you on how. I will be the one to assist you on your account. So, tulong tulong tayo, ma'am. You'll be well assisted until ma end yung contract. Okay, that's that's very good, ma'am. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that's all, Sir Joel. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Okay. Mom, please add me on Facebook, Mom, para we can talk. Yes, okay. That's Isa Bakornay, right? Yes, Mom. Isa Bakornay. Okay. And my Facebook account is Azi Inahor. Nasa baba po. Uh, Azi Inahor. Inahor. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, okay. Noted. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 
Any more question, guys? You know, um, you, you'll, you'll never really going to uh, regret it. Uh, Isa really is <laughs> going to really walk you through and, uh, until the time that you're really going to be familiarized with, uh, with the platform. And she had helped already quite a number of our sellers. In fact, most recent uh, sale made by Milona in, uh, in Butuan or was actually generated from here, from, from, from Property 24. Uh, the sales coming from Bohol also, the one with Jen and Lynn, are sales generated coming from Property 24. Now, uh, Isa is right there at all times, very much active, very much on call, <laughs> actually. So at any given time, she can facilitate you. Okay? Yeah. So please uh, do, do take a screenshot of, the, uh, no, of, of her number. She has both mm -hmm. Globe and Smart. And better yet, Add her in Facebook. No, uh, I think it's gonna be much more quicker there if you have a a a, no, a, a Facebook connection. Both of. so it, I mean she's always online. I always okay. see her online. Uh, yeah. Really. <laughs> um. FYI, also our our promo promo for our first month free trial is only until May. It's only until May. Like for example, if you want to try Property Twenty Four, then you can try it for, for a month. And if you don't like to continue, then we can actually deactivate your account. I just want everyone to experience what is it like to be receiving interested buyers in posting P24 and Jarosa. So grab this opportunity now. Yeah, I agree. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. No? So any more questions aside from the one... Uh, uh, Miss Isa, Miss Pinky actually is from Australia. She's based there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have clients. I have a client in in Australia, sir, from a different reality. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. so she's she's doing the business. So she's our partner in in Australia. She's doing the business there, and mm -hmm. um, she got, got she she has got, uh, got of, I mean she has good leads, but uh, I think uh, she's she wanted to go to go more for the business, but yeah. anyway. No, for, for the rest of us here, no, uh, sleep over it, think about it, pray about it, because as what Miss Isa have said, na, hindi naman, ang, ang labanan ngayon is actu actually ano na eh, uh, online na eh. Whether, whether you're in there or you're not there, pag wala po tayo doon, eh, medyo mahirap-hirap po ang laban, ang laban dyan. Okay? So, Miss, thank you very much, Miss, for your time. Yeah, so, thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. We, we would like to invite you uh, again. Pag medyo nakaramirami na ako ng audience for you, then yes, we will we will invite you and uh, once yes, again. Sir. And yes, sir. Thank um, you. I'm gonna post your number. Is it okay? I'm gonna post it in oh. the in the group chat of of the of the PPI so that at least they yes, can sir. Contact. Please, sir. I think I posted my you number posted? to flash on the screen. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, I think. So if they can, you you just keep in touch directly. Na lang. This one, yeah. Mm -mm. So you keep in touch directly to Miss Isa. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Thank, you thank you, thank you. God bless Salamat. you. Salamat. Thank God you, bless. bye bye. Thank you, bye bye. Okay, that's it, guys. No, so um, I intention I intentionally uh, invited Miss Isa because um, I I have I felt that there's really a need for us to really go, uh, you know, to really go. Uh, online and we have to reach into a certain familiarization with regards to what we are we are what we are currently doing no so um these are tools that we can use okay miss um can you put down your slide miss hold on uh, i think she's trying to log out already Hello, Miss Isa. Oh, yes, here. Okay, so that's it, no? Um, I'm going to run some few uh, few trainings we have that I have prepared actually for you. Uh, wait. Okay, the thing that we're going to be discussing today is actually re really, really very important for the newbies, no? 
for the newbies and especially right now that you are attending quite a number of PKS already, uh, some project reviews, and probably you are exposed to a lot of those uh, um, information already. No, but anyway, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through. I'm gonna walk you through, but. I'm gonna repeat this. Uh, I'm gonna repeat this uh, uh, training. No? I'm gonna repeat this training. Um, I was just really trying to catch up with Miss Isa because um, she has a lot of appointments actually, and it's really hard to get uh, a schedule for her to to talk about Property Twenty Four. So I, I, I grabbed the advantage, although we were set to on a different uh, training uh, session, but I really took the advantage because I I felt already that. A lot of you already have starting to do some posting. You started to do some posting. You started to do some selling, and part of that actually is to really be able to be aware of what are really out there that we can probably use. Okay, so now for for the newbies, now I'm gonna make this into two fold parts. No, this condo 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 specialist training. I'm going to make a two fold part. Um, Sigora, I'm gonna rush things out for this one i'll just check no i'll just check my my remaining schedule and i'm gonna post it uh uh on the group chat uh because i i'm, I'm not here I, I haven't here with me the, the schedule although tomorrow we are set for uh seminar in the morning at 9 45 that is uh exclusively for our new agents now if you have um you, if you have some invited guests please bring them there Tomorrow, let them download Zoom so that they can participate and they can join. Now, the value of attending the business meeting is this. Sometimes we don't really get to understand what we are doing until we are able to see the bigger and the greater picture. The purpose of the business review is to give you a hindsight and a forward-looking um, objective with regards to the business so that you, you can see yourself where are you going into this business. So that is, that is important there. Okay, now I'm going to walk you through so that it will really keep you some, excite, uh, some, some excitement into you with regards to the condo specialist. Now, because it's already past, uh, it's almost 11, no? and I don't want to really, uh, I don't, I don't want to really do some overtime. Um, and I really appreciate the, the one that had been uh, discussed by Miss Isa. It's very relevant. It's very important. Okay, now what you are going to expect in, in the training, and this will be more elaborate actually when we do it on a, in a piece, in, on a piece by piece. Now for the new agent, we, of course, we will be talking about some few terminologies. Now these terminologies are common, very common that you usually encounter every time you attend some project reviews. So we're, we're going to talk about that. Then we're going to talk about the condominium itself. Now what are what are available condominium types are there. No? So this is what we're going to discuss um, one by one, one by one. And what are the units available for condominiums? No? They have different sets of units compared to that of the house and lot. So we've got some types of units that we are going to discuss. What are its distinctive features? And what are the most common thing that the buyer will going to look for a condominium project? Now, uh, these are these are just types, no loft type. And by the way, this is one of the most uh, saleable type of condominium right now, the loft type. Then the penthouse. Then this one, we're going to discuss this in details. The things that we need to remember in a condominium selling. So we will be we will be expounding on that. Thirty minutes will not be enough for for that. No. So and it would be a juicy. It would be a very juicy discussion that you and I will going to tackle. Then, of course, some, some important documents that I would like you that I would like in, to introduce it to you so that you get to be familiarized. Of course, we're going to touch the some basic selling skills with regards to condominium, okay? Because this is very important. And we we are actually in the selling business, no? So that's why we really need to be able to understand how the process operates. So we will be talking about some uh, basic selling skills. We're gonna be talking about some roles we're going to play, um, our sales cycle. That's what we're going to talk also about that. There's a lot of things that we, we can probably talk about here, about our clients' needs. And there are more, actually, that we are going to, to really digest in here. So we're going to take a look at what are the buyers and the selling process uh, is going on. 
so that we are in a better position to understand how are we going to talk to our buyers. So the moment that there are already some inquiries with regards to uh, the projects that you're pushing, then we are in a better position to really you know, present it to them. So these are actually that I am going to walk you through uh, during the time that we will do some training with regards to condominium. Okay. The reason why I chose to talk more about condominium because there are so many projects with regards to condominium today. In fact, grabe, nagbaha ang mga condominiums. Then there must be some demands there. So this is this is that this is the things that we are going to talk about. And the last portion is that we are going to talk why a condo is a good idea, maybe better than a house. Okay, we're going to walk through that idea. Because probably a lot of us will probably think, ay, gusto ko pa rin ng bahay, ay, gusto ka rin ng mga ganon. Yes, that is true. Yes, we really like uh, those type of real estate property. But let us accept the reality right now that there is a growing number of condominium development. And if we are not going to learn how to sell condominium, then we will miss one big opportunity that the rest of the industry is trying to enjoy in terms of sales. So we're going to tackle this question, why a condo is a good idea and way may, may be better than a house. We're going to dissect with that. We're going to do some learning session with that so that when you are, you are engaged with your client with regards to condominium, then you are in a better position to further explain why condominium. Why, why avail this one? Why this is good for you? Why, why you need to have this one? Okay. As much as house and lot is also needed, condo also has a greater demand as well. That's the reason why, if you notice, most of the projects are condominiums. Okay. So we are going to tackle with this one. So we have a, we have a very juicy topic. We have a very good topic. I'm just going to check my schedule. Really, I promise you, long before this week will be over we are going to tackle fully you no know, the the condo specialist uh, uh topic i just took advantage of miss isa because ang tagal ko nang nag, nag request pero hindi talaga kaka, hindi talaga mag fit sa time so she's also serving other realty firms no he's not, she's not only serving us but she's also serving other realty firms that's the reason why other firms are really making good sales as well Okay, so ito yung finale questions. Those introduction that we're going to do, then we are going to highlight in this question why a condo is a good idea or maybe better than a house. So dito tayo mag, mag finale. Okay, so I uh, keep me posted with regards to the update, with regards to schedule. Um, I'm just going to visit my schedule lang. Uh, then later this afternoon, we have our project review. Okay, now project review is very important. Uh, we've got sellers right now selling in various places because we are already online. Project review will help you understand more about the market. Project review will give you more understanding who are the target market within this specific project. Now, every project has its own target audience or target buyer. So the moment you, you attend some project reviews, you are dissecting your mind, who am I going to approach for this product or for these services or for this project? Okay, so that is very important. That is still uh, this afternoon at exactly 2 p.m., same meeting ID and same password, okay? And remember, Filipino time is on time. Okay, thank you and God bless you. Thank you for your time. Please contact Miss Isa for further questioning and clarification of the services offered by Property24. And do grab the free one month. Ang laking tulong ng one month na yan. No, laking tulong yan. Makakabenta ka na bago ka pa, mag, uh, bago ka pa magbayad. Alam mo, isang benta lang yan, bayad na ang buong Property24 mo. Ang succeeding benta mo, profit mo na. Okay? God bless you all.